So I use eBay a lot, and unfortunately, eBay doesn't have a version of their Turbo Lister uh, program for Linux. So the way that I do this to use the Turbo Lister while still using Linux and not having to reboot is I use VirtualBox. Now, if you're going to use VirtualBox, you need a copy of Windows and an OEM key. Pretty much any Windows will do. Um, preference on XP or 7. 7 doesn't work real well in the VirtualBox unless you turn off all the bells and whistles. And if you have a copy of Windows 95 laying around, just go ahead and throw that away. And what you're seeing here, this is called seamless mode. Um, I have three monitors, so this is taking up one complete monitor. Which is kind of cool when you're looking at it. One monitor is Windows and the other two are Linux. And like I said, it takes a couple minutes to boot up. And once it does, you're going to want to give it another minute or two just to get its bearings and you know try to figure out why it's alive. As you can see, I'm, I don't have internet access yet. Will in a second, but just not yet. There it is. Um, you can see I already got the Turbo Lister application installed. You're going to want to go to their website or go to Google and type in Turbo Lister and you'll find it be right there should send you right to a download link it always gives you these annoying pop-ups which is cool um, right here you can see all my active listings this is everything that's currently on eBay for me right now and if I go down here it'll tell me what's sold what's unsold and I can if I so choose go to one of these and click relist then it sends it up here to waiting to upload and I can go in and edit it before I hit upload and then it goes right to the site. Um, this here is my favorite feature and what this is is it allows you to make an inventory you can go to your activity list go to your unsold items copy something and then paste it up here in your inventory um, to make it easier so that you know what you have if you have more than a few listings um, but the best part about this, you can make a new listing and it doesn't necessarily upload it right away. You can if you want to, but so you fill all this stuff out. Um, pictures. One thing worth noting, you can't edit the pictures in here like you can on the website. You have to do that before you before you put them up here. There isn't a rotate or anything like that. But most of the options are the same. You can... Actually, all of the options are the same. And it's pretty straightforward, easy to fill out. I just did a bunch of them, and it took me maybe five minutes apiece. But the nice part is I can do them when I have time and not while I'm trying to make it to the deadline for when I want my listings listed. Um, another nice feature of using VirtualBox is I can leave this exactly like this go out here to VirtualBox and go to Save State and when I do that Windows goes into this shutdown mode well hibernation mode and it's saved so if I want to load it back up I just hit start and bam just the way I left it one of the cool things about running it this way is that I can actually share a folder from my computer into the virtual box and this is my this is where I keep all my pictures and all of that stuff I'll show you how to do that real quick also in the settings here down at the bottom is shared folders pretty simple you type in the folder path 
what you want it called, hit auto mount, make permanent, and there you go. It's worth noting that you can't add a folder while it's in a save state. It has to be turned off. You know, I think that's all I got right now. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.